Did you see that? Huh. Uh, remember the horses you and... Uh, let's see here. I guess they don't sleep in the barn. It's too spooky for a horse. It must be full of gear. I'll say, uh, too spooky for a horse. Where's the girl at? Man. Oh, he's walking slow now. There she is. <laughs> kind of looks like a zombie when he walks like that. What are you doing, man? I gave you orders to walk up here. Oh, okay. She's helping him now. That's cool. Wow. Click that. See if anything different happens. There's nobody buried here, you know. It's decorative, I guess. Or it's art or something. I don't know. A decorative graveyard? Weaver's folks were like that. Not morbid, I mean, but strange. Careless with tragic ideas. Oh, and look at that headstone. Marquez. I used to think that was for my parents. Now I don't know. Hmm. Alright, let's go and check this place out. No, she's not in here either. Doesn't look like. Shannon. So, this is where she was? Yeah, makes sense. This was where Weaver and her parents lived. They took out a bunch of loans, you know, and had this place built. Do you have any debts? I never really had any collateral. I owe some people some apologies. Yeah, we'll say that. <laughs> More kind of matches my life. Well, you're lucky. That's all you owe. My parents were like that until the company store found a way to get to them. For my dad, it was tokens to run the fans and air purifiers. For my mom, it was canaries. Two solutions to the same problem, but they sure sounded different. Weaver had debt too, a lot of it, all tuition. How did she pay it off? Did, uh, let's see, she said she was a mathematician or something? Yeah, she studied some esoteric stuff about something about using math to translate between Spanish and English. Or you could just learn Spanish. I think eventually Weaver put those math skills to work on all the red numbers in the family checkbook. Uh, and got a clear sense of just how hopeless this situation was. So she left. I guess she just drove away in the middle of the night. They woke up in the morning and the car was gone. Never came back. Until tonight. Dun dun dun! Someone else told me to come here and talk to her. She seemed really focused on that old TV. Were you happy to see her? Um... Gosh. Those are good questions. I don't know. Someone else told me to come here and talk to her. Um... She seemed really focused on that old TV. Were you happy to see her? We're gonna choose this one. Huh, okay. I guess we two aren't the only ones she's been talking to. Oh, that's not something you see every day. That old TV right there, well... That is a damned antique for you. 
I had a model like that in the shop once. I had to sell it off to make rent. Most painful decision I ever made. Who's talking, by the way? I forgot. Say, do you mind if I open up? Uh, if I open it up, looks like the dials are all corroded. Oh, she's talking. Good. Okay. Dials are all corroded, and the screen is leaking light a bit. Come on, I bet Lisette would never forgive you for letting a specimen like that fall into disrepair. Now, sure, go for it. Yeah, open her up. See what you can do. See if you can fix her up. You want some duct tape? Oh yeah, these tubes are all messed up. Look like they've been in a swamp, or a cave or something. There's moss growing on this one. That's okay. Well, that must be the outdoor channel. Uh, uh, tube. That's okay, I have a few spares in my bag here. Here, and my, uh, let's see. Here, I pulled this one out of an old computer monitor. Just needs to be recalibrated a bit. Okay, that ought to, that ought to, should be seeing something now. Are you seeing anything? Hey, that looks dangerous. What are you doing there? Uh, a little bit to the left? Yeah, we'll choose that. Damn, okay. Here, I think the contacts are dirty. Now don't go telling my customers I clean off old vacuum tubes with spit. Uh, there, just gotta turn it north, south, and... Now what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? I'm shocked. That's the zero. Horses don't even care. Wow. Now what? End of Act One. You may flip the uh, steam over. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll start up. Uh, two in a little while, but um, that was Act 1 of Kentucky Route Zero. Um, <laughs> thanks for putting up with my um, uh, reading and all that sort of stuff, and uh, we'll, we'll start it up soon. Alright, see ya.